Someday, sometime, it's going to happen. Your windshield is going to meet the business end of a flying rock. And when it does, isn't it great to know the Velocity Windshield Repair System can quickly and effectively return your windshield and your life back to normal. The Velocity Windshield Repair System produces clear repairs faster and here's why. The adjustable bridge speeds correct placement of the assembly. The injector is stainless steel. It's easy to clean and will last for years. The large diameter injector opening allows for easy alignment even on large pit damage repairs. White O-rings won't produce dark reflections like black or red ones. Our simple UV shield allows you to focus on the repair procedure not hassling with a bulky plastic cover. A durable and simple to set suction base stays on the glass. An efficient vacuum and pressure pump combined with a quick connect hose speeds the repair process. A durable fiberglass reinforced composite bridge. Rear stabilizers for curved surfaces. The best fast wicking resins available which produce clear repairs faster. The Velocity Windshield Repair System engineered to produce clear repairs faster. Whether you're a seasoned repair technician or a novice, follow these basic procedures. Be sure to wear safety glasses and nitrile gloves. Wipe up small spills quickly. Examine the damaged area from inside and outside of the vehicle. Look for hidden cracks, moisture, contamination, or previous repair attempts. Determine that the damage is within the scope of your technical experience. Make sure the temperature of the windshield is cool to the touch, and if possible, move the vehicle to a shaded area. Remember, your goal is to repair the damaged area so that it is cosmetically improved and structurally sound. First, place the mirror on the inside of the windshield right under the damaged area. Clean surrounding glass area. Place a finger over the pit to keep the glass cleaner from infiltrating the brake. Using the probe, remove broken glass debris from the pit. If water is present in the brake, Heat the pit and surrounding area with a torch to evaporate all moisture. If the pit area is tight, as in a star break, consider drilling. Use low speed, rotate the drill, and do not drill into the PVB. As an option, you may pop a bullseye by placing the probe on the impact point and gently tap on the top of the probe with a small tool. This will open the brake area so that it will more easily accept the resin. Screw the injector partway into the bridge. Then slip the UV screen disc onto the injector's threads. Now slip an O-ring on to retain it. Make sure the rear stabilizer adjusters are backed off up to the protective tips. Place the bridge on the glass so that the injector's o-ring is directly over the pit. Press the bridge assembly onto the glass so that all the air is evacuated from the suction cup and the bridge is securely fastened to the surface of the glass. Screw the injector down until the o-ring seals on the surface of the glass. Turn the top wing knob to loosen the bridge assembly so that the injector can be set precisely over the pit, then retighten the wing knob. Once the injector's o-ring is touching the glass surface and orientated correctly, screw the rear stabilizers down equally until the o-ring is applying just enough pressure to create an airtight seal. Snug, but not over torqued. Choose the appropriate resin and place a few drops, three to five, into the injector tube.
If the windshield is cold, heat the area with the torch or heat gun. Caution: Do not overheat. This may cause flowering of the resin between the PVB and the glass. Place the probe into the injector and apply slight pressure on the pit to begin the wicking action process. Remove the probe and attach hose on top of the injector. Take the vacuum pump and move to the inside of the vehicle. Rotate the switch on the pump to vacuum and apply vacuum to remove air from the brake. Pump until you have between 15 to 25 inches HG. Allow the vacuum process to continue until bubbles are no longer rising to the top of the pit, usually 30 seconds to 2 minutes. Use the LED light to observe this process. Next, switch to pressure and pump enough pressure to reverse the process, usually 15 to 25 psi. Now the resin will flow into the brake. Allow enough time, depending on how tight the brake is, usually two to four minutes. For stubborn brakes, it may be necessary to conduct additional vacuum and pressure cycles. If you are experiencing difficulty clearing out the brake, try these tips and tricks. Remove the quick connect hose and reheat the windshield from the inside. Try probing the pit to flex the brake, allowing the resin to move into tight areas. Under pressure or vacuum, try pressing your thumb on the inside of the windshield to flex the brake. From the outside of the windshield, use the probe to press down on the legs of small cracks. This flexing will open them up and allow the resin to flow. Once the repair is satisfactory, remove the bridge assembly and wipe any residual resin. Apply a drop or two of pit filler resin and place a cure tab sheet over the pit resin. Press gently. Place a UV light over the brake and cure for approximately 5 to 10 minutes. Do not rush this process. It is important that all the resin in the brake is fully cured. Remove the cure tab. Using a new razor blade, scrape the cured resin in a back and forth and up and down motion until the resin is level with the surface of the glass. Apply a small amount of pit polish and vigorously rub with a cloth until the resin is shiny. Clean the windshield with glass cleaner. Use the brush to clean out the injector chamber and clean any resin off the injector bridge with cleaning solution. Proper cleaning will prevent contamination on the next repair. The Velocity Windshield Repair System, engineered to produce clear repairs faster. Oh.